This Sunday's Oscar red carpet always makes for some fun celebrity clothing, not only but jewelry watching. Yeah. Coming up next, find out where you can go to see the jewelry made famous by some of your favorite celebrities from Hollywood's golden age. Celebrities and their jewels from Clark Gable's Cartier wristwatch to Bing Crosby's 14 karat gold cufflinks. We have some items in studio this noon that I, of course, never thought I would see in person. Romana Malinowski is here from A. Merrick Fine Jewelry with some beautiful pieces. Yes, they are. They're oh, this treasures. is exciting. What is this one right here? It's so lovely. This particular piece is actually belonged to Donna Summers. Ah, that was her gold bracelet. I imagine bracelet. it opens up like yes. this. Okay. The two snakes coming together. With diamonds and rubies. rubies. In there. And sapphires. And then here we have Clark Gable's Cartier watch. Ah, that we mentioned in the open. Now, how do you get this? How did you get hold of it? Did you get it at this an auction actually, somehow? Well, the store is actually hosting a very special collection that's uh, by the Kazanjian Foundation. It's Jewels for Charity. It's all about charity. It's a wonderful, it's all put together for a wonderful cause. Some of the items are for sale. I was going to say, so can people S bid on these? Some are. Oh, they can actually purchase them. Okay. So there's, in that even bidding, it's they can actually purchase them. Some pieces are not for sale. Uh -huh. Clark Gable's watch is one of them. <laughs> so um, it's not for sale. That's you're going to hold on to that one, right? That in the right? collection, correct. And then the cufflinks we and have And the here? cufflinks are, those are Bing Crosby's. So, and if you, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but they are actually his name. Oh, yeah. So they say Bing. Oh, right in the cufflinks. Fun. And those are for 14 karat yellow gold. Again, part of the permanent collection, so it doesn't, uh, those are not for sale. Okay, but the sale, if people are, are buying some of the fabulous things that are on sale, then the money's also going to charity as well. Yes, which is and a great we've thing. also partnered with a Silver Lining Foundation, which provides free mammograms for underinsured and uninsured individuals, oh, which is a wonderful great. cause. I mean, it really, this is all for a wonderful cause. Saving lives and getting jewels, yes, what better? Exactly. This is just my absolute favorite. That's a lovely piece. This is Ava Gabor's, and it's actually a hidden watch. It's, it's a watch it's in a there. Watch. Can we open it up? So you can. I don't, you can how actually. How about if you do push, that? Because I'm just. I'm afraid if you push I'm this piece it right here, this actually <gasps> reveals it the just watch. Just up to reveal the Which watch. was quite chic, and that's that is. of that era. Women always wore a beautiful bracelet that told time. Oh, I see. Yes. Ooh, isn't that great? And then this one here. This <gasps> is a, a wonderful piece. The great diva Joan Collins herself wore that on Dynasty. Oh, really? She actually wore that one of her episodes. This the color is, is so vibrant. Well, it really it is. And Gorgeous. it's uh, an antique, so there's it's blue enamel with diamond encrusted uh, head, and the little ruby tongue actually moves on that. Oh wow! This is one of the pieces that's for sale, by the way. Oh, it is. Okay, yes. so you could actually there we go. The tongue. And Ava Gabor's oh, watch was, is also one of the items for sale. <gasps> oh, that is for yes, sale. Oh, dare I ask how much it is? <laughs> You know what? It's a great price for what it is. It really is a great price. Okay, and then of course there is the tiara. Yes, everybody's got to look at yes. the tiara. Yeah, should we put the tiara on and do and do the little wave? Right, you've got to do the. Uh... It does. So <laughs> Dina, the the story behind the tiara. This is the tiara that Madonna wore on her wedding day uh, to Guy Ritchie. She which got has been married in this. Okay, in so this. it's kind of bad luck then, isn't well, it? No, I wouldn't say that. It's an Edwardian piece. Um, it is was to her on loan by uh, Asprey and. And Garrett, so this was on loan to her. So it's not oh, something it she was. actually owned. Okay. Yes. Boy, because that's so, but a lot of But the great thing about this is really... it also converts into a necklace. Oh, how interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so there's pieces that come off of that, and then it becomes a beautiful choker. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. You probably turn it over, I mean, so you don't <laughs> poke yourself <laughs> with the top of it. And then these are gorgeous. Do you remember Jack Lord, Hawaii Five-O? Yes. This is of his course. wife's Marie's. <gasps> oh. So it's a wonderful opal collection of uh, the opal The size of those yes. opals and the, it's and quite the a study depth piece. of color is yes. really, really nice. And I'd like to tell you about this piece. Okay. Terry Moore was Howard Hughes's wife. This was a gift to her from Cary Grant for letting him lean on her shoulder and cry when he was going through a divorce. So Aww. he gave a nice little gift to Terry Moore. See, sweet story. Yeah, I, I'd exactly. almost rather buy the ones that have the nice story behind <laughs> yeah. them. Boy, well, thanks so much. This is great. And on our website, we'll have all the information how right. people can get involved with looking at the jewels and seeing them. Jewels for charity at A. Merrick Fine Jewelry on Butterfield Road in Oak Brook. Or you can just go to our website, wgntv.com slash midday and find all the information. What beautiful stuff. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you.